Hello and welcome to the QuickBooks Setup Guide for Inksoft. So you're going to start from your dashboard, go to Settings, Advanced, QuickBooks. Check this box here, Allow Exporting of Orders and Invoices to QuickBooks. QuickBooks Online and then you'll save and then you'll see this green icon here, Connect to QuickBooks. And you'll enter your QuickBooks login credentials. Log in from there. And then once you are on this screen here, you'll then start aligning your chart of accounts with your QuickBooks account. So inside QuickBooks, you're going to go to live bookkeeping, go to chart of accounts, and then all these accounts here, uh, you can create a new account up here. Just hit new account type, etc. All these chart of accounts here will then be accessible on this page. So credit cards, you have these options here. So just align all this stuff. Um, to your QuickBooks account. And then by default, uh, QuickBooks has discounts and shipping turned off. So inside your QuickBooks account, you're gonna go to your settings here in the top right, go to account and settings, go to sales, and this form here, sales form content, just click in here and it lets you edit these. You're gonna wanna turn discounts on and turn your shipping on as well and save. So once you've done that, um, you'll then be able to assign your shipping here as well as your discounts. So just align, you know, where you want your cash to go, choose your chart of account here, et cetera, and then save, and then you should be good to go. So you have the options to export to sales receipts or to invoices, export payments separately instead of a line item. If you need them to be separated, you can. And if you're doing your POs through QuickBooks, you can export to purchase orders as well. Uh, the name template here, this is going to pull in the information that you type in here. So for now, I just have the manufacturer SKU and the size pulled into QuickBooks, but whatever, whatever else you need, you can pull in the style number, the color, um, size ID, stuff like that. So generally this is, this should be all you need, but if you need more, you can use, you know, reference these, uh, little plugin, uh, percentage things here. So if I want to pull in the name, just copy that paste it in there and then save. And then once you're all set up here, uh, go to your order manager. And then you can select orders in bulk here and then export to QuickBooks. And that'll send all the orders uh, to the correct chart of accounts and pull in all the information in these fields here to your QuickBooks account. So just select your orders, export to QuickBooks, and you should be good to go from there.